In general, we can solve an equation involving a trigonometric function by rewriting it as trig function of theta equals c, where c is a number, finding a value theta that solves the equation, and using the periodicity of the trigonometric function to find other solutions. For example, suppose we want to solve 2 sine of 3x plus pi equals 1. Let's find all solutions, and then let's also find the least positive solution. So remember, to solve a trigonometric equation, it must be in the form trigonometric function of theta equals c, where c is a number. So we'll rewrite our equation. Now, it's helpful to ignore the input. So even though we're trying to solve sine of 3x plus pi equals 1 half, it's really sine of equals 1 half. And so the question is sine of what is equal to 1 half? And we know that must be pi 6. And don't forget, sine is periodic. If sine of theta is equal to c, then sine of theta plus 2 pi is equal to c as well. And in fact, if we add any multiple of 2 pi, we get another solution. Now, put things back where you found them was 3x plus pi. And so we have our equation, and we solve. So now, if we pick an integer value of k, we can get a solution. Now, in order for there to be a positive solution, k must be greater than 0. And so we find the least positive solution will be if k is equal to 1. And so the least positive solution is x equals 7 pi 18. Or is it? And the thing to remember is that for most values c, sine of theta equals c has two solutions in the interval between 0 and 2 pi. So again, if we want sine of to equal 1 half, we could also have equal to 5 pi 6. And again, plus any multiple of 2 pi. And putting things back where we found them, we can solve for x and find which gives us a second set of solutions. And for these solutions, the least positive solution will be where k is equal to 1. And so we find, and our other solution, 7 pi 18, is actually the least positive solution, and so we'll go with it. Similarly, if we want to find the least positive solution of cosine x halves plus pi, one set of solutions to cosine equal to 0 is equal to pi halves plus 2 pi k. So our argument will be equal to pi halves plus 2 pi k. And so x will be and the least positive solution of this type is where k is equal to 1. And so the least positive solution will be 3 pi. But remember, there's another set of solutions. So another set of solutions to cosine equal to 0 is equal to 3 pi halves plus any multiple of 2 pi. And so we find that at the least positive solution of this type is going to be where k is equal to 0. And so the least positive solution overall is x equal to pi.